Hello, welcome to my next video on uh, Rasmul. How to use in this video, I will be explaining to you about how to use Rasmul. It is a molecular graphic software which is used to visualize molecules and to study their properties using uh, various methods and other options given in the software. Okay, now let's go to the software. How to, how to, where to get this software? So first you have to go to Google and type Rasmol download. So you get this page. So you click this, open Rasmol. From here you can download the latest. And so you can see the Windows installer. You can also download the manual. Then you will be having the list of commands in the manual and uh, you have different versions of the software that can be downloaded uh, you can use any version even the older version also works better with uh, all the uh, pdb molecules that we will be seeing uh, so if you are using linux then you can use this tarball uh, if you are using windows you can use this windows installer and uh, you can also donate if you want, if you are interested in supporting these people who are uh, giving the software free of cost to all the people throughout the world. Okay, so you click, you will, you know how to basically, you have to just click, click and submit and you get it installed. Now, this is just the software that you can use. In order to see the molecules using this software, you need to go to the another web page that's called as rcsb.org okay where you have this protein data bank so basically you have to search for various proteins that is biomolecules and you have to download those molecules to visualize in the software okay let me just show you an example suppose you want to visualize say albumin so you type albumin in the search box and then press enter go so it will go to some web page and it will show you all these things if you have patience, you can go through all these contents. But directly, if you want to download the software, the PDB molecule, just go and click whatever. There will be different albumin, say human serum albumin, winged bean albumin. So albumin can be obtained from different sources. So all these, you can download any of these molecule. Suppose I am just downloading. If you just click this, you click this, it will go to the next web page like this. And here you see download files. If you just click this, you will get the different format. If you are using Linux, you have to use this GZ. If you are using um, Windows, then you have to click this PDB format. Suppose if you click this PDB format, it will just show you, take you to this website. This is Rasmol, Raswin document that will show you here like this. You can store it in the in your web in your computer so i have already stored all these molecules different molecules for demonstration purpose you can download any molecule so as i showed you uh, that format that you have to choose you have to choose it from here okay so this is how you download the molecule so once you have installed the rasmol and downloaded whatever molecules that you want to visualize in the software now let's go to the software okay so now this is how it looks on the desktop just click this it will open like this you will get a black screen you can always down you open this file so just file open so i told you i have list downloaded a host of molecules here i have downloaded amino acids cofactors and various pathway enzymes and individual molecules like this so different molecules I have downloaded. Let me just take a simple molecule for you to show, say for example, say glycine. It's a very simple amino acid. If you open, you will see this is called as a wireframe structure. Okay. If you see display, this display, you will get different format by which you can display the molecules. You can show it as sticks, then you can see it as sticks. If you should take it as space fill, it will just show you the space fill model or ball and stick model 
or ribbon model there is no ribbon because it's a single amino acid you want a ribbon usually you get it for big molecules like proteins strands also you won't get and cartoons also you won't get molecular surface you will get something like this the electron force that is present throughout the surrounding each atom and the molecule so let me go to the uh, space ball and stick model so this ball and stick model that I am showing you here. So there is one option I have shown you the display model. Now you have two screens in when you open a RAS ball. So this second screen is the command screen that uh, is present here. You can just type commands. You have to learn the commands. So I'll just show you, introduce you to some basic commands. Suppose if you want to change the background. Type set background point. Set. So the color changes. You can use up arrow in the screen and you can get the command and just leave the when you type some other color to get the different colors. This this uh, command will be useful if you want to see the contrast of uh, the molecules that you are going to visualize using this software okay so you can always choose by pressing the up arrow and the down arrow and suppose if you want to click if you click on any atom and then if you see it in the command line you can see that you can see that uh, what atom that you have clicked it's the glycine that you have clicked the first atom okay so it will tell you the nature of the atom that is present in the in the molecule okay so that is one option another option is you can click you can left click the mouse and you can rotate the molecule like this in any angle to visualize the position of various atoms present in the molecule like this or if you press right click if you press right click and you can move the molecule to left side or right side or top or bottom or anywhere you can move so you can focus on particular area of the molecule and you can use it so if you press shift and then you use left mouse you can zoom in and zoom out the molecules shift and left click will zoom in or zoom out the molecules okay so then the next options uh, i'll show you here is you can label the atoms once you label you can see that this is nitrogen that is labeled here oxygen that is labeled here you can label all the uh, compounds in settings, suppose if you want to measure the distance between two atoms, just go to settings, click pick distance and then pick two atoms. So you click this and click this. Okay. So you can see the, I'll just zoom in, zoom out. I'll show you in wireframe, it will be better. Settings, pick distance. I just take this. Yeah. You see there's some angstrom is given here. You have to click the one atom and another atom then you get the distance between the two atoms 1.1 angstrom this is a power zero so then if you want to click this and click this you get 1.08 angstrom suppose if you want to measure the angle between three atoms you have to measure one two and three you get the angle is 109.25 degree that is sp3 hybridization of this carbon which shows you 109 degree tetrahedral angle that you get okay so like this you can use various options here and once you have studied the molecule you can you can export this molecule suppose if you want to show this molecule in your paper you can export it in the form of a gif or postscript or any of these uh, ramachandran model or anything that you want you can uh, export it like this so these are some of the basic features that i wanted to show you in the Mode. So in my next video, I will show you how to study a macromolecule in detail.